I just wanted to say goodbye. Um, and that this isn't going to be a, a regular piece of content for me. Um, things have really changed over the last few weeks. And basically, long story short, um, yeah, that's better. Long story short, uh, I don't know if YouTube found me if someone reported what I was doing, <laughs> um, but I am not, to sum it all up, I am not, um, allowed to talk freely on here and a significant amount of videos of mine have gotten taken down and I'm even just being very careful and vague of what I share here because I don't know <laughs> um, If you watch any of my other stuff, it's just like, I don't hold back at all. And this was something I promised myself when I got my, or like realized that I have uh, my disease almost two years ago. It's like, I don't wanna leave this earth without knowing who I am. And that is the most important thing to me. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to like live a life in secret. And I'm not going to be ashamed of who I am or like where I've been through. And obviously, you know, I've, had to do a lot of inner work around that and I don't think there's one thing that I've posted and I'm like I can't believe I posted that you know and I knew people were going to gaslight me and I knew that I was going to be labeled as a quack to some but my retort to that is like at least I'm not brainwashed you know and I totally am brainwashed, but just, it's been such a, um, journey, just kind of unraveling these cultural narratives of what it means to be sick and what it means to heal and, um, what tools or modalities are available and out there and are like truly the most effective, you know, and um, basically like the way that my videos got taken down and I got like a lot of warnings and stuff from YouTube was like, it started with the one that um, it's the only video of mine that has ever gone viral and um basically what viral means is that it interacts with the algorithm as such where the algorithm puts it in front of like a lot of eyes that it wouldn't normally be in front of so it like lands on um you know suggested videos for people and a lot of people grow and like a lot of people um can like find you that way and so it started with that one and then there was another one 
and then there was another one, and then there was another one, and what I basically got taken down for violating YouTube's terms. Um, and I guess what I will say is that YouTube is owned by Google, and then Google is owned by Alphabet, and Alphabet is a pharmaceutical company. That's all I'm gonna say. That's just straight facts, right? Um, and so, basically like when I looked at like what terms that I violated, um, I was like, whoa, they could take like, they could take everything. They could take, they could take everything. And I know it probably doesn't look like it for my subscriber count because it's still well below a thousand, but I have been building this channel for years. And I, in that moment, I became so grateful that I never chased the algorithm, that I never chased growth, that, I mean, thanks to my illness, keeps me honest, right? That like I showed up when I felt called and you know, everything that happened kind of validated like why I was scared um, for my message to get out there and, and for the wrong people to see it because I mean, this is like very surface level of like, you know, my channel being in danger. Um, but really it's, this, this is my income. This is, this is my livelihood. This is my survival, you know? I don't have money, like I don't live. And um, in like the most literal sense of like, my birthday's coming up and I'm like, oh, this like might be my last birthday, you know? And I think proximity to death like really keeps you honest and just like honest and like aligned with your soul's desires. Cause it's like, I can't take any of this with me when I die. So like what's actually important, you know? And what's actually important is my self-expression and not censoring myself no matter what. And after everything that happened, this is no longer a place I'm able to do that. And I don't, like, obviously, if I didn't care about my YouTube channel, if I didn't care about you, if I didn't care what, like, whether or not I was able to, like, ever come back here again, like, I would just keep posting what I post, right? And, like, probably lose my channel. So, I care about being here and having access to this platform but I'm not gonna share like I used to share on here. And the majority of what I share isn't gonna be on here. So I'm releasing it and I don't know what my plan moving forward is. Um, all I know is that like, I'm not gonna be here like I was and I'll link I'll link my email um <laughs> I'll link my email like if you want to get emails from me below if you want to stay in touch like that is where you will find me that is literally the only place that I can talk without getting censored <laughs> anymore <laughs> um which makes sense, but I'm exploring other options and I don't plan on stopping like to make, I'm, I plan on keeping on making videos, but they're just not going to be here. They're going to be on a platform that is probably not social media. So if you like my stuff, if you like my content and you want to keep in touch, definitely sign up.
through my email list. It's been so hard lately. And yeah, if you're on my email list, you know when you get, you know, <laughs> the cold hard truth about everything. Um, and if you're on here, you miss a lot of that, like, behind the scenes stuff because, like, a lot of times, like, I'm not even strong enough. To get on video that much. Anymore. Or these days or whatever. Where it's like sitting and editing video is like too physically taxing for my body and <laughs> it's been so hard. <laughs> But the way the symptoms are presenting themselves, it does seem temporary. It just feels like it's gonna be forever. It's just like a, such severe detox, like. Sometimes I like look up to God and I'm just like, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? <laughs> I don't know why my soul would have ever chosen this path. It's so hard. And it's just felt like one thing after another. And it's like, <laughs> the universe breadcrumbing me or something. It's like, once you're through this, then you'll feel better. And it's like, no, like once you're through this, then you'll feel better. It's like, no, then just like something else fucking happens. <sighs> it's like at this point, I know that my soul like did not sign up for a regular life. Like I am not <laughs> meant to be a regular normal person living this, you know, neo-colonial lifestyle, like, it doesn't, it doesn't compute, it doesn't work. I'm called in some, to some, like, really weird, dense, heavy fucking shit, and obviously that makes it very hard to relate to people. Um... But yeah, like, I just wanted to get on here to tell you that, like, I'm not going to be here anymore like I was. And if you want to keep in touch, I will post a link so that you can get my emails and you know, keep in touch that way. Um, but yeah, YouTube as a platform just isn't going to work anymore. On some level, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. On other level, I'm like absolutely crushed, you know? Um, 
but on another, it's like, <laughs> I can't help see it as like some kind of divine redirection and there was some kind of like relief in me when I realized that maybe there's like a safer way for me to deliver this message in a way that like keeps me more protected um, versus just like letting it all hang out willy nilly. So again, if you want to keep in touch, I'll leave a link to my email below. But yeah, just know that like, I'm not gonna be here like I was. And it doesn't mean that I'm stopping. So if you want to move forward with me, sign up for my emails. Um, and if not, yeah, things are just going to be different from now on. I love you.